Hello, players. According to Max, it serves the best damn hamburgers in America. No, wait, wait, that's not right. Hmm. The best damn hamburgers in Arcadia Bay. The Two Whales Diner is a big fish in a small pond, I guess. In this level, we're making Max's favorite food by Chloe's mom, Joyce. Fancy diner burgers. I didn't want to set this challenge on easy mode, so I decided to make my own brioche buns, which turned out to be totally worth it. First, we'll start with our buns. Insert Warren joke here. Stir together two cups of all-purpose flour with two packs of dry yeast. Flour, F flour, C can you not? I'm, I'm trying to impress people. Take a pot and throw in one cup of milk, three quarters cups of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, quarter cup of white sugar, and one teaspoon of salt and warm that all up. You can either use a stove or the love and affection you would expect from, say, a photography teacher. Don't burn yourself. Now this is already most of the ingredients in the recipe, so the rest is pretty simple. Add your mix to the flour and yeast and beat it until it's smooth. Now we add the rest of the flour, about three more cups to give us a nice, soft dough. Like with any yeast-based dough, you need to give the yeast a chance to rise before we knead it, which activates the gluten and gives it that fluffy, airy texture. So give it about 10 minutes to take a chill pill. Come back, do some kneading, express your rage in the art form that is toast. Express all that high school angst against the stupid popular kids who tried to drug you, your stupid teachers who also tried to drug you but then murder you, and your stupid stepdad. Well, because now I have issues with authority. And whose fault is that, Chloe? It's okay, I still love you, let's run away together, what? Shape the dough into about 10 slightly flat balls and lay them on a well-greased baking sheet, but give them a little bit to rise until they've about doubled in size. I forgot to do this, oh well, full speed ahead. Can't change every decision now, can ya? Toss those into your preheated 400 degree oven for about 13 minutes. Now comes the fun part. Good old fashioned diner certified red meat. Get yourself some meat, any meat. I like 80-20 ground beef because it's got some fat in it to give it some juice. Also, you don't have to add anything to the pan since the oil and the fat naturally lets it not stick. Just mix that quickly with some salt and any other spices you're a fan of. I am a sucker for paprika and red pepper. Now take a cast iron skillet, put it on medium high heat and place your flattened patties on it. I don't know what black magic a cast iron skillet has, but trust me, it does make all of the difference. Since I like to pretend I am a walking time turner like Max, I'm going to quickly ninja chop some tomatoes, onions, and boom, brie, because these are fancy burgers and deserve nothing less than the fanciest of cheeses. When that's done, stack up your bun, your mayonnaise, your spicy mustard, your arugula, your beef, brie, onion, tomato, and top bun, and voila! Fancy diner burger for fancy diner people. And time for our food porn cross-section moment. Oh snap, that came out better than I planned, but does it pass the taste test? Holy heck, yes, it does. This may be the best burger I ever made. I'm keeping this one. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode. Players, as always, like, subscribe, share these videos, and of course, let me know how I can get some cooking experience points in the comment box down below. Of course, if you wanna see me play some of these games, you can go ahead and check them out on my other channel, The Gamerette. Until next week, on to the next level. Bye bye